Hello, hello, hello. I'm Duke of the Bump, the captain of this shit ship I call the stream, and this is Eastwat Cyber Police, City Under Siege. In this never ending fight against crime, the government recruited the most skilled soldiers of all Eastwat. Welcome to the chat room. CPC Gamer just drop. Paragot the Great M. Wearing state of the art ice combat suits, Eastwat troopers set out to eliminate crime. Anime Flame 12, for the love of NES. Welcome, thank you, thank you all. Ankamius, Anc welcome. EVE, the largest and most powerful terrorist group, developed their own advanced weapons to neutralize ESWAT. Usunoro, welcome. Ankamius, Ankamius, welcome. EVE continued to develop their plans to control the entire world. This is this is one of the first two 16-bit games I ever owned. I got a Sega Genesis along with this game and Krusty's Super Fun House for Christmas one year. And that was the uh, <clears throat> quote-unquote story to the game. And this is Cyber Police Eastwatch City Under Siege, a.k.a. Robocop the video game. Probably the best Robocop game ever made. And that is the badass uh, cybernetic police suit that we will never see. Well, we'll see it, but we don't start out with it. We start out as just a normal dude. The game's kind of a, uh, a cock tease in that manner. Let me uh, fix my controls here. I want B to be jump and A to be attack, because that's normal. Just drop says back, more naked than ever. Excellent. Oh, let me tie something into the chat room. Um... E SWAT mission completed. I had to slam down on the uh, enter key so I can hear it when I am uh, when I am syncing up the chat room later. Um, anyone tell me if the audio or video is bad? Uh, from now on, I'm just not going to ask. Uh, I'll just trust you to uh, to tell me if something's wrong. I think it's okay. It looks it looks and sounds okay on my end. Um, as far as I know, the only difference between easy, normal, and hard is the amount of health that you have so to reduce the overall annoyance factor of the game um, I'm just going to play on easy and I will bump my players my uh, my lives up to five and I have to go back into the options to make sure that uh, that it actually accepted rather than canceling oh the reason I uh, made that the uh, the chat room message is because when I was a kid, I would get much amusement from going to the sound test and doing this. I wish I could have it interrupt itself so I could do a techno remix. E swat. E e e e e e e swat. Okay. That's quite enough of that. Welcome to the chat room, Grey Words. Oh fuck, they're saying they can't hear anything in the chat room. Oh wait, can you hear me? Or can you not hear the uh, the game? You know what, I know what the problem is. Okay. Uh, that is easily fixable. Let me open up my, uh, my crap here. Alright, now you should be able to hear both me and the game. Let me know if that is not the case. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I had to uh, make some adjustment adjustments to my uh, to my audio setup because I was skyping with Mors Draconis because uh, we were playing the uh, the co-op of the game Portal Two, which is freaking amazing, by the way. If anyone hasn't played Portal Two, get a friend who ha who also hasn't played the game and do the co-op because it is extremely fun. But uh, I had to change some stuff about my audio settings otherwise he would have had an echo while we were skyping so uh just a minor hiccup not really uh worth getting into at this point yes yeah, so get a quote unquote friend and do the uh do the co-op in portal 2 oh speaking of Morse, welcome Morse. so uh i had some complaints about humans um well really just one from sore thumb 
Uh, he said uh, he could only watch the first 40 minutes because it was a little dry. So I decided to mix it up on Retro Game Week and uh, play an action game rather than play more humans. I'll finish humans. Um, Retro Game Week, I'm sure, will continue for uh, for at least another couple weeks. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a side-scrolling uh, shooter, as you can see. Um, you can aim up, you can fire left and right, you can jump, you can jump and shoot, you can do a super jump, where you jump slightly higher than you can normally jump, but uh, when you do a super jump, you can't also shoot. And these are uh, the only mechanics we have at the moment. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Darian Mask. The guy just jumped, jumped over a vertically flying bullet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how it is on the streets. Humans is tough to find interesting, says Moore's Draconis. Yeah, well, I find it interesting, so that's, uh, that's reason enough for me to play it. And in our first boss battle, we uh, take out a helicopter. Also the first boss of Shinobi on the PS2. Helicopters are a popular boss battle in Sega games, apparently. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Harlequina and Manothu. Mission completed. This looks like a fake Robocop, like cop. Well, yeah, he's cop now, but uh, just give us some time and he will soon become Robo. Oh, we've been promoted to chief. That's way better than a captain, apparently. This music is cool. Yeah, th this game has some good music. It's not the best music on the Genesis, but um, it is very, very Genesis-y. And we have two, uh, two areas where we can jump into the bars of this prison. But uh, these are both traps. They're red herrings. If you go inside either of these areas, then uh, you will be on a wild goose chase. Anime Flame 12 says I had trouble with this level the first time I played it. Yeah, it's kind of a maze in some respects. Um, I used to know exactly where I had to go to uh, to progress through the level, but now I might have to... Uh... See, that's our goal. We need to go to where that flashing arrow is. But first, we have to uh, get inside the prison in the correct place. And enemies do respawn. Did I die? For some reason it's saying I have four lives instead of five. This must be one of those games that counts zero as a life. Which is some bullshit. Zero is not a life. Okay, well now I died. Uh, I have beaten this game more than once, believe it or not. But I haven't played it in years. Well, I haven't played past this level in years. So uh, I'm not sure how successful the stream is going to be. Um, it's not the most difficult game in the world, but, uh, it's not the easiest either. If I do end up getting a game over, then, uh, if there's still time in the stream, then I will, uh, play a four few more levels in humans. Alright, and, uh, we have one hit point left, but that's okay, since we're almost at the, uh, almost at our goal. The only way to stop this thing is by jumping, by the way. Otherwise, it just keeps going. Uh, three Jack Burton, welcome to the chat room. I didn't know I could ride the car vertically. Yeah, that's kind of important. Um, the ability to, uh, to ride vertically. I actually play this as part of the Sonic Genesis collection. It says Anime Flame 12. You know, I had that when I had the, uh, the Xbox 360. And, um, uh, I don't know. I had some issues with it. Like, uh, the games were all faithfully emulated, but, um, uh, I'm not sure if it was just me, but I, I felt like there was a little bit of controller lag. I don't know. It made some of the games a little difficult to play. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe it was just because I was using a wireless controller. 
Oh, you can crouch and uh, and cr move forward. By the way, I'm not sure what this is called. It's not exactly crawling. Crouchly. So these guys just shake their fists at you. Uh, the big mutant guys, they uh, they whirl their ball and chain around above their heads, and if you don't kill them fast enough, then they will lunge at you. They are violent, psychopathic killers. Will stop at nothing to to take out any cop in their way. You know, I don't understand the point of having these laser bars here, if you're also going to use metal bars in other parts of the prison. I mean, the metal bars are obviously just as effective as the laser bars. If you ask me, that's an egregious waste of, waste of taxpayer money. I don't know who voted for laser bars in the prison, but probably not the best idea ever. They're advanced, just not that advanced. Uh, Radigan Conniger, welcome to the chat room. It's a cyber prison, gotta have lasers. Well, you see, I don't know if there's really that much of an advantage of having a cyber prison over a regular prison. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't know if the, uh, the electrified cart thing that they use is, you know, worth it. Although, I guess they can build, you know, a five-story tall prison and uh, fit more people in that way. But, uh, you know, stairs work. That's a uh, that's good technological innovation. If I'm ducking a lot, it's because it's a good strategy. If you're just ducking and crouching all the time, then uh, you're more likely to avoid getting shot. Cyber prison sounds cooler. Yeah, well, I guess that's what's really important when uh, when getting the taxpayer votes. Now you can fall there if you're not careful. In which case, you have to do the whole thing all over again. But, uh, if you jump over that, then you are good to go. And, uh, we are actually getting close to the boss already. Now, this boss is, uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's on two different planes. Planes of reality. You are behind the fence and in front of the fence. And, uh, you have to, uh... I mean, basically, you have to be on whichever side of the fence they're on. And like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so it may take me a few tries. Alright, well, I took out one of them, so the hard part's over. I blew away their, uh, oh man! I blew away their cybernetic exoskeleton, but that guy was still able to get me. Uh, the M is a maximum life thing, um, and I'm at full health, so I won't bother getting that at the moment. Cyber robots, yes, as opposed to the other kind of robot. I was too close to one side. Yeah, that's probably uh, probably a good observation. Fortunately, these guys aren't both crouching at the same time, or I'd be screwed. But as long as only one of them crouches, and the other one fires above my head, then I should be okay. Interesting that they uh, are staying on this side of the fence. Alright, well, that went pretty well. Uh, welcome, Gartholomew68. Oh shit, we have achieved the rank of Eswat. Extra sweet weapons and tactics. That's what ESWAT stands for. I thought the word cyborg means that it's part human, part robot. Uh, well, it depends on uh, the sci fi canon that you follow. Now, unfortunately, we are like way taller with the cyber suit, so we're easier to hit, but we do have way more life, and we also have this the burner which is what this game calls the jetpack. Dr. Zoidberg! Need a new person in the chat room? Why not Zoidberg? Who's, who's saying mission complete? Uh, the boss? The big boss? It's uh, somebody communicating to you over your, uh, your transceiver. 
And we have our first weapon upgrade, the uh, Plasma Cannon, also known as the PC. The most politically correct of all weapons. Uh, you can either fire it normally, like your regular weapon, or if you just wait a second, it'll charge up and you can let off a big beam of energy. Uh, this is the rocket launcher. It fires rockets that travel along horizontal surfaces. And uh, sometimes, well, vertical surfaces, but it can only go down and not up. Ooh, a one-up. Wow. I got a little too excited about that one-up. But uh, that's not a very common occurrence in this game. Uh, Gary Dempsey, welcome to the stream. For those of you just joining me, it is Retro Week on the stream. On Tuesday, I played The Humans, which is a puzzle game. And today, I'm playing ESWAT Cyber Police, which is a police Robocop action game. Robocop should just be a genre of game by this point. Oh, and we got a new weapon. Uh, this is the Super which is a uh, machine gun. Kind of like what those guys, the boss in the last level, were using on us. Uh, we can just hold the button down rather than having to pump it as with the other weapons. Now, one wrinkle of this game is that when you die, you'll lose whatever weapon you currently have equipped. So if you have the shot equipped, then you won't lose anything if you die. And if you have uh, one of these other weapons equipped, then uh, you'll have to uh, find it again from an enemy dropped. My go-to weapon is the Plasma Cannon. Uh, Rilk, Rilkus, Rilksmith, welcome to the chat room. Do you have infinite ammo? Hell yeah! It wouldn't be a side-scrolling Sega Genesis action game if you didn't. Well, unless it's Earthworm Jim, but uh, I don't really care for that game, personally. And this is the last weapon in our, uh, in our little arsenal here. It is the Fire. Now the fire, unlike all the other weapons, uses uh, your burner capacity as its ammo. So you do have ammo for the fire. And uh, as you can see, I lost the uh, I lost the plasma cannon there. So my next go-to weapon is the super, the super machine gun. I mean, the rocket launcher is good, but uh, only in certain situations. You know, your extra height when you're wearing your uh, your eSWAT suit is really a liability. They really should have designed that shit better. Wow, another one up. Maybe it's not as uncommon as I uh, as I claimed. Yeah, you can only fire rockets in one direction. So, uh, as I said, Retro Week will probably continue for at least another week so I can finish up Humans, and hopefully this game, if the uh, the challenge does, doesn't prove insurmountable. Now, a lot of you might be saying, but Duke, how can you call it Retro Week if it lasts more than one week? Well, here's my rationale. If bars can have an hour that lasts four hours, then I should be allowed to have a week that lasts a month. I think that's fair. I'm not sure if this is as common in other countries, but, uh, but in American bars, our happy hour often lasts like three or four hours. Which I always found ridiculous, but uh, I will use their uh, their language obfuscation to my advantage. I kind of like Retro Fortnite. Yeah, I, I should have called it Retro Fortnite. In uh, in retrospect, <laughs> oh, kill me. And we are at another boss. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and use this thing. I don't think I actually need my burner that much for this fight. It'll uh, kill anything that's on the screen, and it'll do pretty serious damage to the boss. Now even if you don't have any uh, burner fuel, you can still hover here. And I actually probably should have uh, should have saved my, uh, my fuel because it is pretty necessary for this fight. I kind of forgot about that. 
Not to mention you don't stream every day. Yeah, that's true. Alright, well, lesson learned. If you're playing along at home, do not use your burner on this boss. I mean, use your burner, don't use the uh, the fire weapon that uses the burner ammo. Oh, apparently I can only hit this guy when he's not wearing his head. Oh. Well, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Suddenly he turns into Mega Man when he uses, uses the plasma cannon. Yeah, except that you don't have to hold the button down to charge. Which I like. It amazes me that you don't have this game still memorized. Well, I haven't played it in like 10 years. Okay, notice the sign in the background that says no burner. Um, I'm assuming that there's a good reason why, uh, why that's the case. Um, some kind of scientific explanation. This is the ooze level. We have uh, this mysterious black ooze attacking us from every possible location. Yep, can't stave off that ooze. Because you have no burner f f fuel. Well, I mean, your, your fuel regenerates over time. Um, but in this level, it just doesn't work for whatever reason. I'm assuming there's some kind of, uh, you know, because the burner will, uh, will react with the chemicals in some way that causes some massive explosion or something. So it's, it's probably just too dangerous to use the burner. That's a lot of ooze. Yes, perhaps I will discover the secret of the ooze. Oh, Perigot just started playing The Binding of Isaac. Apparently a popular activity is to, uh, to listen to my stream while you're playing a game. Which, uh, you know, I totally approve of. Anything that gets me, uh, gets me viewers. Now this bridge is a pain because little blobs of ooze will continually jump up and attack you. Um, and you can't move forward until the bridge reaches the top. Even if you do jump up here. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. Oh, and Darian Mask is playing uh, Mighty of Isaac as well. I really should have switched my shot. Alright, well, let's give this another go. We're just good at multitasking. Oh no, uh, I mean, I'm the same way. I like listening to, uh, listening to LPs while I grind in RPGs. Now I'm fucked. Well, maybe, but maybe not. I still have good old rocket launcher. I don't think you have infinite continues in this game, um, but you do have uh, a pretty good number of continues, if I remember correctly. I'm not going to uh, abuse save states like I normally do. If I game over, then uh, then it just wasn't meant to be, and I will make another attempt at a later date, possibly, or I'll just give up. I'll take the coward's way out. I always have your YouTube LPs going while work on the computer. Well, what do your co-workers think about that? Or do you use headphones? That's what I do. I, uh... I listen to podcasts and audiobooks. And sometimes LPs while I'm at work. Now the LPs, um... You know, only if it's uh, audio heavy and there's not a, much of a visual aspect. Oh shit. 
Because obviously I can't watch, I, I can just listen to them. Oh, homework, okay. Well, you know, a lot of my LPs are very educational, and they might actually help you with your homework. I mean, if you ever have to do a report on, uh, on Cyber Police, you know, I've got you covered. I've been watching your old streams while I grind Diablo 3. Yeah, that's uh, a good use for them. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, thank God. Alright, we have our burner back for the boss. So, um, apparently whatever bullshit scientific explanation I came up with, uh, it is not... Well, it's bullshit. Now we have three yellow lights on this thing that we have to, uh, we have to get rid of. And our main threats are ooze clones of us and those claws coming out of the machine. And the rocket launcher will be good for taking out that, uh, the bottom claw, the bottom light there. Alright, excellent. Just one more. I've destroyed your infernal machine. Your contraption of, uh, Completed. of dubious scientific usefulness. Uh, Glacius D3, welcome. And believe it or not, we're, uh, we're more than halfway done with this game. Um... Uh, Vitaly Ibrahimov. Welcome to the chat room. This might very well be the last level of this game. Which is amazing if that's the case, because I remember this game being much longer. I should lose rank for being Periwinkle. Well, I don't know what you're implying, sir. Oh, we have these uh, little recharger pads that can uh, fully recharge our burner. The suit color. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Oh shit! We also have these uh, these damage platforms, which are like the uh, the burner platforms, but they do damage to us instead. Wait a second. There's like a whole level that should have come before this because there was the sewer level. Did, did it skip one of the levels because I'm playing uneasy? Because I'm sure the sewer level did, wasn't after this, was it? Damn. Hopefully that's not the case, because I thought I played on easy before. I thought all it did was uh, was give you more life. If it actually removes levels from the game, it's kind of a dick move. Maybe the last level just looks similar to this level. Because Moore says this is this is not the last level, but uh, I don't remember anything after this. Well, I doubt that that's the last we'll be seeing of that guy. Did Robocop have a jetpack? I think not. Moore's Raccoon says the sewers are next. I don't know how he remembers this remembers this game better than I do, because I actually own this game. I mean, he played it, you know, probably as much as I did when he came over to the house, but, uh... I mean, I remember this. You have to, uh, hit the down arrows. If you hit the other ones, then, uh, you will lose progress. Sewers are next, then two other levels, then the game. Wow, that's amazing. I could have sworn the sewers were before this. Yes! 
Plasma cannon get. Let's try not to lose it again this time. I'm actually doing okay damage wise. Hey, it's Mega Man. Oh yeah, the Plasma Cannon. Oh shit. Except that, uh, unlike Mega Man, you don't have to actually hold the button down. Which is nice. Oh yeah, you can also uh, damage things with your burner as well. Like you may have noticed, I've destroyed a couple obstacles by, uh, by jetpacking into them. Damn it! Stop respawning. Thank you. This looks like the X Tekken version of Mega Man. Oh yeah. The uh or the cross Tekken version rather. Shit. Yeah, because uh, Mega Man Cross Tekken uses the ridiculous box art from uh from the US version of Mega Man 1 has the basis basis of that character. Which is really the coolest thing Cop can Capcom's done in a while. Uh new new, welcome to the chat room. Now if I remember correctly, it's not worth it to actually try to kill those things. Okay. Well we have a uh, an obstacle obstacle course to deal with here. We have to uh, use our jetpack, conserve the fuel as much as possible, and uh, not fall onto the flaming floor. Now, all of the uh, all of the blocks with the uh, with a red box on them, like that one, drop uh, burner fuel. So it's not as impossible as it looks on first glance, and you can blow these things up. Oh shit, apparently they uh, damage you as well. So uh, Mortis and I are going to go see that movie Brave tomorrow, the new Pixar movie. Um, I didn't have my hopes up about the movie because uh, the previews honestly didn't look that great. But uh, from what from what Moore's was telling me, the the uh, reviews have been pretty good so far. So uh, so I'll check it out. I mean, I probably would have seen it anyway because it's Pixar, and Pixar has almost never steered me wrong before. I mean, Cars wasn't great, and Cars Two was pretty pretty terrible. But other than that. It's pretty much been hit after hit for Pixar. So uh, after work tomorrow, we're going to head over and uh, and see what that's all about. I still need to see Prometheus too. Moore's already saw it, but uh, and uh, he, I think he didn't care for it. Um, and I've heard mixed things about the movie, but I still want to see it. Moore says it was terrible. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Oh well. If nothing else, I probably shouldn't have done that. I mean, if nothing else, it should be good eye candy. Because uh, visually, it looks like an awesome movie. Whereas Dracula says I'm fucked, but I should be okay. I just need to uh, to let my burner recharge. Odin337, welcome to the chat room. Uh, Inzu Draragna, aka Tazarin, welcome to the chat room. Okay, I might be a little bit fucked. I don't think you can make it to the top now. Eh, I'm sure if I uh, just stop to recharge. Uh, 
peri periodically I should be able to make it. I am a ninja, you can't see me. Well, that's not true. I am omnipotent and omniscient. As far as my chat room is concerned. Huh. I don't- Oh, I guess when you touch the, uh, I guess when you touch those, it recharges your burner as well as damaging you. Now, this probably won't go too well since I, uh, I don't have a whole lot of life left. Am I supposed to destroy these things? I thought this was a boss. Oh. Oh, I had to wait for the, uh, wait for the platform to come back. Oh, yeah! This is the part of, part of the game where your burner becomes supercharged. Um, I have unlimited jetpack capabilities now. I can jet around as much as I want. It's kind of like, uh, that part of Half-Life 2, where your gravity gun gets supercharged, and you can just throw people around willy-nilly. It's, like, totally empowering. It makes you feel like a badass. And this is the same guy we uh, fought before, but, uh, in full view, rather than hiding in the shadows. And I'm dead. But I have continued, so it'll be okay. Paradox Zero, welcome to the chat room. Three continues, okay. Well, that should be, uh, should be enough to beat the game. Oh good, I still have all my weapons. That's good to know. Oh, I don't know if any of you live near the uh, the Kroger series, um, the Kroger grocery store chain, but uh, they have a generic version of Sun Chips that are black bean and salsa flavored, and they are delicious. I like them better than regular Sun Chips, and they're like half the price. So, uh, you know, check it out. Oh, did I get him? Was that it? Oh, apparently that was enough. I've been trying to, uh, to save some money recently by, uh, experimenting with the, uh, generic version of some products. And, uh, you should always try the generic version of anything, any food item that you buy. It's not always as good, but sometimes it's better. And in the case of Sun Chips, I would argue that these are actually better than, uh, than real Sun Chips. They have outperformed the Masters. Just Drop says, buying Guild Wars 2 on Wednesday. Didn't that get pushed back or something? I think I saw a Facebook post saying that, uh, it got delayed until, like, early or late August or something. Uh, Ventus Knight, welcome to the chat room. The generic version of Special K at this local grocery store is much better than regular Special K. Yeah, I mean, occasionally you will, uh, you will find that that is the case. I like the generic version, the Kroger version, of, uh, Ritz Crackers. They're just as good as real Ritz Crackers. And th there are two different tiers of generic products. There's a Kroger brand, which is cheap. And then the Great Value brand, which is, like, super cheap. And, uh, the Great Value brand is, like, a third of the price of regular Ritz Crackers. But, uh, I think they taste every bit as good. Uh, Night Gaunt 13 welcome to the chat room. Moore says, the leaked date that was on some press leak was the end of this month. Oh, so it wasn't, like, a confirmed release date. Okay.
You know, I'm not sure if those, uh, if the red ones were actually dealing me damage or if they were just pushing me back. I think they were just pushing me back, because it doesn't look like my life total is actually going down when that happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's not actual damage. Okay, well that's, that's good to know. That'll make this section, uh, a tad easier. Shit. So glad I have a Walmart opening in my town next month. Walmart, uh... I mean, I have my problems with them, like, uh, like any good liberal does, but, uh... It's hard to argue that they are super useful. Especially when you live in a small town or a, a rural area that doesn't really have access to much else. Uh, why? Oh. I was wondering why that didn't open. So my, does my shit get recharged every time I land on this? Yeah, okay. Well, good. For some reason, I, uh, I forgot this fact. Shit. Do I mean in electronics? Well, in, in everything, really. I mean, Walmart... You know, in some areas, Walmart is the only place you can go to get certain items. And, I mean, it's sad, but, uh... That's the case. In a lot of, uh, a lot of American towns. Shit. Okay. Walmart is awful. Oh no, I I agree. They uh they corner the market and drive small businesses out of business, but uh <sighs> it's just hard to get by without them in some places. Oh shit. Maybe, uh, I think my super bullets will be more useful here, actually. When I have a lot of enemies to deal with like this. Damn it! I need to, uh, remember to duck. You don't have a lot of uh, invulnerability time in this game. If I remember correctly, the smart strategy is to just zip through these areas as quickly as possible. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep the, uh, the super out. I have a feeling it'll be preferable against this boss, since he has such a tiny hitbox, and it's not, uh, not the best idea to let the plasma cannon recharge over and over again. Damn. I mean, I used to have all of this memorized, but, uh, it's just been too long. Oh, I thought he was gonna rush at me again. Ah, damn!
I have a book of key press cheat codes memorized. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, start. A, B, B, A, C, A, B, start. Those are the only cheat codes I have memorized. Damn. No checkpoint? I was hoping there would be a checkpoint at the little, uh, the little super burner area. I think I was correct. I think the, uh, I think the last area of the game looks very similar to this one. Which is why I was confused. Alright, I'm going to need to get to the boss with significantly more health. Because there is no checkpoint, as I thought there was. Alright, so let's uh, just kind of zip up here. Wait for a platform to come back. Damn. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, this should still be doable. Use plasma cannon instead of super on the boss. Well, I don't have the uh, the super anymore anyway. If I stand here long enough, will that platform just come back? Because when I was at the top. I mean, it came back eventually. It has to come back for you to uh, to get the supercharged burner. But maybe you have to actually get there before it comes back. I'll give it a few seconds. Alright, this is not going to happen. Okay. Excitement. Well, it's going to be exciting when I, uh... When I eat shit, because I don't have the platform. See, it's so tempting. I could recharge my burner instantly just by stepping onto the, uh... Just by stepping onto the floor and taking a point of damage. Just zip up there. Oh yeah, that's true. I could have just gone. I didn't have to wait for it to fully recharge. Can I broadcast myself taking a bite of the shit? Well, I mean, you don't have a video feed. So you don't know what I'm doing during those silences. So just use your imagination. Whatever you like to think that I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. The Shock Ninja, welcome. Oh, and Kostja, welcome. Just Drop is weird. I have to, uh... I have to be equally weird to placate his, uh... His oddities. Alright, this should go better since I have almost full health. Uh, Hobo Apev 2, welcome. I don't know if it is better to let it fully charge every time, or to just pump the button like that. I don't know which gives you the best damage ratio. Wow, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Damn it! I meant to aim up. This is some pretty bitchin' music though. Ah, excellent. Mission completed. 
Charging up is better. Well, I'll have to run the numbers on that. Penetrate secret sewer. I don't want to. That does not sound pleasant. Cartoonish, welcome to the chat room. If I remember correctly, oh yes, going into that beam activates the uh, the missile launcher, but you can just shoot it. See, you would think if any level you wouldn't be allowed to use your burner, it would be the sewer level, because you would be at risk of uh, of igniting all the methane down there. Ah, damn! People can jump up and get me. That's not good. The high road is definitely the superior road to take, though. Can I not kill that thing? I hate games that break their own rules. Alright, well, let's just fly over them. Oh! No? I thought maybe I had to hit it in the, uh... Hit it in the, uh, the red spot, but apparently that's not the case. Oh, I think I can take those lasers out uh, just by shooting. Yeah, okay. I don't have I don't have to actually activate the the missile launcher. This is a lot of shit. Hit it from the back. Oh yeah. Damn. Don't kill those guys. They're plumbers. Well, they're in the wrong place. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are missile launchers on the ground as well. How did... How is that not killing it? That's quite upsetting. I mean, now that I don't have any good weapons, I might want to stick to the lower road. If you let, yeah, if you let those ooze things latch onto you, then uh, you're gonna have to shake them off. This is a lot more difficult than I remember it being. Oh, super! That wasn't sarcastic. I know that sounded sarcastic, like oh, super, but I am actually genuinely, uh, genuinely enthused. Ah, plasma cannon. No! Leave me alone, damn it. Alright, so my vain hope of actually beating this game uh, not looking as likely as I thought it would. It's just been too long. I've lost my mojo. The main strategy in this game can be summed up as ABS. Always be shooting. When you have the super equipped anyway. Damn. Stupid slime thing forced my hand. Can I not even kill these from the bottom? Wow, that is fucked up. I hate it when video games do that. It's 
like, oh, here's a random thing that you can't kill for no reason. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. You know what would be great right now? A max life. That would just be awesome. Ah, my prayers have been answered. Thank you, Jeebus. Oh, why not? That's worth taking a minor risk for. My new LP, let's get Duke his mojo back. I don't get how Duke can do a blue baby run but has trouble avoiding projectiles in this. Well, it's because I played the Binding of Icing for 80 hours in the past three months, but uh, I haven't played this game at all in like 10 years. All right, definitely want to bring out the, uh, the plasma cannon against this guy. Because it's kind of like Larry Jr. The more project or the more uh, segments you can hit with a projectile, the more damage gets done. Ah, damn. 80 hours, holy shit. Well, okay, three months is an exaggeration. S since January, basically. So January, February, March, April. Okay. Five months. Six. Almost six. But still, it's more than I played this game. And at least the Binding of, I Binding of Isaac is fair in the amount of time, the amount of invincibility time you have after getting hit. Unlike this game, where you can just pretty much die in a second. 80 hours is like almost four straight days. Yeah, well, I mean, compared to a lot of people, you know, that's nothing. Alright, two continues left. We will start at the beginning of the sewer. But we, but we will have... Oh! You don't start with all your weapons. For some reason I was under the impression that you started with all of your weapons except for uh, except for the fire. But uh, that is apparently not the case. Well, I should have uh, an easier time of it now that I've uh, now that I've relived this. I mean, it's like anything else, you know, it takes practice. And the reason I'm okay at the Binding of Isaac is because I've had a lot of practice recently. And I have not had a lot of practice in this game recently. But, you know, for some people that makes for a more entertaining stream. And some people hate that kind of thing. They're like, why would I want to watch someone suck at a video game? But, uh, you know, that's, that's reality. I'm sorry this shit's too real for you. But, uh, go hard or go home. That's what I say. That's what I've never said until just now. The thing is, you're not sucking. Well, I've already used two continues, so, uh, in some ways, you know, comparatively, relatively, So, uh, what else is going on? Not much, man. I had, uh, yesterday off for, uh, West Virginia Day. And me and Mike, or me and Morris, you all know Mike's real name by now. And mine. I'm Matt. He's Mike. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, we played... Wow, that was some serious bullshit. Uh, we played Portal 2 for about four hours straight. And, uh, it was the shit. That game is really cool. <laughs> Mike and Matt in the morning. Yes, we should start our own morning zoo. Oh, 
Oh my god, this thing is such bullshit. Nice missiles. You know what? Let's wait until it is fully on the screen. And then I will break out some fire. Okay, that wasn't quite as effective as I, as I was hoping. I got a poker tournament this Saturday. Winner gets a 10,000 C for the World Series of Poker main event. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Is it, uh, Texas Hold'em? Because that's the kind of poker I like. I've never actually, uh, you know, played for money or gone to, uh, like a casino or anything. I've just, uh, played online for fun. But, uh, it's pretty fun. I play for fake money, you know. I'm, I'm no gambler. I just like the game. Well, I like gambling as long as my own money's not at stake. You know, if, if I won a seat in a poker tournament, then, uh, you know, that, that'd be pretty awesome. Oh, thank God. Uh, Beats X18 and ESS ISS SS255. Welcome to the chat room. I'm going to Atlantic City to see Cage the Elephant and Modest Mouse Saturday. Wow, that's awesome. I love Modest Mouse. I wish bands would come to where I live. All right. Um, this is the segment of the game that uh, I remember the least. I mean, which should be obvious, since I thought the level before last was the, the last level of the game. But uh, I will try my hardest and do my best. I will give it my all for the glory of the stream. Damn. Oh well, it was worth it to get the plasma cannon back. Wow, boss already? Wow, I don't remember this thing a bit. Oh, you know what? I do remember it. Yeah, okay. I remember it is a pain in the ass. Every time you get hit, also, it, uh, it uncharges your plasma cannon. Damn! If you don't watch Duke naked, you're doing it wrong. Uh, there are two possible interpretations of that sentence, and I don't like either one of them. I'll just be honest. Although, given the choice between you watching me naked and watching me while you're naked, I would gladly take the latter. So, uh... So, yeah. Keep reaching for that shiny brass ring just drop. I don't know what that means. What's the second interpretation? Well, watching Duke naked can either mean you viewing my naked body, which is bad for both of us, and watching me while your body is personally naked. And uh, while still bad, it's not as bad. Alright, let's see if I can do this without fucking up this time. The pattern on the say is not entirely intuitive. See? Please tell me that's it. 
Well, of course it's not. Now I have to go backwards. Makes perfect sense. Did you hear Octomom has a porno now? There are no two words in that sentence that I want to be in the same sentence. Ever. See, in a perfect world, Octomom would be the sequel to Octodad, that game where you play as an octopus man. Okay, we can't destroy these things, so we just kind of have to, uh, bob and weave. Is that another morning show? Hey, it's bob and weave in the morning! Here to bring you all the latest video game news on the fives. That's a uh, a giant bomb cast reference. If you didn't listen to uh, the most recent giant bomb cast, I really don't like the looks of this. Uh, welcome, lunch meat twelve. If I just inch my way down, I should be able to. Uh, take these out before they're a threat. Oh, I thought something else was about to drop down. Hmm. I don't think I want to go that way. I think I want to go up. Oh shit! Duke ever play a Vector Man? Yeah, that's that's a cool game. I never beat it though. I'm pretty sure I made it to the last boss, but never made it past that. That is a long ass game for not having any kind of password or continue system. And when you die on the last boss, after playing for hours to make it there, it is a tad disen disenfranchising. Alright, let's see if I can uh, work the same magic again. Oh shit, I want that. Oh, I'm not going to get it. I'm just one hit point down, so it's not a huge deal, really. Now, I do want that. See if I can uh, cheat my way over there. Uh, damn! So close. Oh well, maybe when I fall down, I'll be close enough to fly back up. I doubt it though. Plus, these things are probably going to respawn. If I know my video games, those things are going to respawn. Let's just test real quick and see if they do. Oh, shit. I can't even fly that far. Hmm. Duke, have I played Alien Soldier? Um, I think so. Is that that really terrible beat-em-up? It was on, uh... Sonic's Ultimate Genesis, Ultimate Genesis Collection. I think I played that. I didn't like it. It was a little too terrible for my tastes. Ah, excellent. That worked. Alright, now is there anything up here? This looks like the kind of place they might hide it. Yeah, there is a thing. I don't really like beat em ups in general. Well, old school beat em ups. Because, uh, they're generally based on arcade games. And arcade games are not really designed to be fun as much as they are designed to, uh, to suck up quarters from people. So, uh, yeah, beat em ups, not my favorite genre. 
Now, modern beat em ups can be pretty cool. Like, uh, Castle Crashers. That's a pretty fun game. Where the F are you taking me? Uh, well, I guess there's no going back now. <gasps> no! No! Oh, Jesus. Are you serious? Did it just take me all the way back here? I'm gonna bust some heads. Did all this stuff respawn? No. Okay. You can get that one up now. No, I got it. I was able to fly up there and get it. I'm just so intrigued by this game. Shit! It's a cool game. I mean, as far as uh, the first Genesis games a person owns, go. Uh, this is one of the better ones. If I remember correctly, this game actually predates Sonic. I think Sonic came out the year after this game did. A lot of people think that uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic the Hedgehog 1 was a, a launch game with the Genesis, but uh, it actually didn't come out for a couple years. The Genesis launch game was Altered Beast, which is a terrible game. Gunstar Heroes was the first Genesis game I ever owned. That is uh, one of the best first Genesis games you can own. Wise from your grave. Yep, that is Altered Beast. Uh, damn it. Damn it. My first one was Mortal Kombat 3. I liked Mortal Kombat 3. A lot of people uh, think that the series peaked with 2, but uh, I enjoyed 3. At the time, I doubt I can go back to it now. But yeah, my first two Genesis games were this and uh, Krusty Super Fun House, which was another uh, 2D side-scroller puzzly Lemmings type game, which was pretty good except for the music. The music is repetitive and made me want to kill myself. If Retro Week lasts long enough, I might actually play uh, Krusty Super Fun House on stream. It's pretty good. You play as Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons, and uh, your fun house is infested with mice, and you're trying to lead the mice to a killing machine, an extermination device. And it's pretty gruesome. And you have to uh, arrange blocks and elements in the level to make the mice go towards the killing machine. You son of a bitch. Ah, damn. I was afraid that would happen. I should play Krusty's Funhouse. I might. Oops, wrong one. I own Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Yeah, unfortunately, most of the early, uh, early Simpsons-based games, well, actually, most Simpsons-based games are pretty bad. Uh, Krusty Super Fun House is good, and uh, The Simpsons Hit and Run was okay. It's kind of like a uh, a Grand Theft Auto style game, but with The Simpsons. I mean, it's still not great, but it's playable, which is more than you can say about most Simpsons games. And there was Simpsons Road Rage, who was basically Crazy Taxi with The Simpsons. And, uh, I guess it was playable, technically. I wonder if that 1-up respawned. That'd be nice. Simpsons Hit and Run, yeah. I'm trying to think if there were any other good Simpsons games at all. I mean, a lot of people like the Simpsons game, which, uh, came out for, uh... 
uh, I think it was, was it, was it 360? Was it that late in the, uh, the life cycle? I think so. It was like 360, PS3, and, uh, I don't think we. No, no, it was on Wii. Because I played it on a friend's Wii. Wow, how how did I not take damage there? Was it because I was standing on the platform? Duke, I know a cool game you can play. Ever heard of EG? I've heard of it. Um, I've never actually played it. It's one of those uh, indie games that everyone rage, rages about. Raves about. They don't rage about it. Well, I don't know. They might. Now, if the 1-ups are anything like the rest of the power-ups, it, hopefully it will respawn. If it does respawn, that would be the bee's knees. Ah, excellent. But I'm going to have to, uh, to drop down and then... Oh, shit. And then go back up for it again. I am Mr. Mister. Welcome. Oh, well, maybe I will uh, give EG a try. Alright, um, all that's up there, well, there is a, a maximum life thing over here, so I will grab that real quick. Hello to you, duck of the bump. Alright, let's see if I can do this without, uh, okay, excellent. Sweet. Now if I go after that life up, there's a very good chance that I will accidentally step into that teleporter and be sent back a thousand feet. What do I think of girls who made duck faces on their photos? Um, I'm against it. That is my controversial stance. But, I mean, you know, if they have fun doing it, then, you know, whatever. I mean, they're prob probably teenagers anyway, so... It's not like they are of any interest to me. Oh. Wow. Alright, this is where I ran into problems last time. I like how that projectile just disappears when it goes off the top of the screen. <laughs> Personally, I throw bread at them, feed the ducks. Yeah, that's what everyone should do whenever you see uh, someone post a photo where they're making a duck face. Just leave a comment that says, want some bread? Or, th or like uh, an emote throws, br throws bread at you. That should be the official response to, uh, to a duck face. I don't know, whoever came up with the idea, it is sexy. Well, I don't think it's supposed to be sexy. I think it's, it's supposed to show, like, how crazy and random the girls are. It's like, whoa, check out this face I'm making. These guys again? Is there anything different about them? Notice that, uh, the super is not able to blow up these guys' bullets. Oh, is this going to be like a boss rush? No, this is a different boss. Well, I guess it might still be a boss rush. Just with a new boss. It looks, it really looks like that blue thing is what I'm supposed to be hitting. Maybe it's those red things in the middle. Yep, it's the red things. Alright, I will uh, save my burner. Because it looks like I wouldn't need it. If I want to not die against this guy. You know what I bet would be great against this one? Rockets. My theory was correct. Okay, now I have to hit the uh, the flashing thing on top. You know, everything's coming back to me now. Regarding this game.
Mission completed. Whew. <laughs> yeah, Just Drop says it's uglier than my normal face. I guess they're doing the duck face to make their normal face look better by comparison. Final mission start. Break. Is that E V E or E Y E? I think it's supposed to be I. Uh, Demon Reader, welcome. See, this does look pretty similar to the, uh, the dark base level. So, uh, my confusion was, uh, was valid. Let's say. Theoretically. Ow. Ow. I should probably switch to my uh, plasma cannon now. You know, I'm surprised that um, that in the database for Twitch, they have this game, but they don't have the humans. I mean, you would think that they would either have every Genesis game, or they wouldn't have any of them. I mean, I don't know why they just would not include some games in the database. Oh, this area sucks. Okay, well, hopefully there's a checkpoint down here. Hopefully it comes sooner rather than later. Damn. Twitch looked at it and was like, nobody's gonna play that shit. Well, I like it. I don't care what you guys think about humans. I think it is a fun and quirky puzzle game. Alright, what weapon would be best here? I didn't say us, Twitch said it. Yeah, I know. I was rebutting against Twitch. Fire. Well yeah, fire would be good, but you can only use it once. I think I'll save fire for the chamber that I died in. I think that's the last one before uh, before you reach a checkpoint. I have nothing to base this theory on, but uh, I'm hoping that the game will be nice. See, if I time this right, I can kill them before their bullets are even, uh, before I'm even in range of their bullets. Alright, was this the chamber? I think so. No, it's the next one. No, it's this one. I will- Oh! For some reason I thought it would, uh, stop the elevator when I used the fire, but apparently it keeps going. That is very helpful. And there's more to it. Alright, well, that could have been worse. Oh, max life. Thank you. You are nice sometimes, game. Wait, who is making sexist jokes? I don't think that stuff about the duck face was sexist. Oh shit. I mean, I'm against guys that, uh, that make the duck face too. In theory. Wow, it's like the, uh, it's like the ending of Binding of Isaac. It's a mirror match. Damn. Maybe I should save my uh, burner for this guy. 
for my fire weapon. Oh shit, you have that? Oh wow, that's not fair. No one made a sexist joke, I just had a sexist thought for a sec. Oh. Oh, uh, I must have missed it then. Ah, shit. I wonder if I could have switched my shot while uh, while the fire was going on. I'm not sure if, uh, if that ability was frozen or not. This doesn't seem like a, a final boss. It seems like a, uh... A penultimate final boss. God! I can't even duck that shit. Even when I'm a level below him. Wow. He waited out for a second. You know, I'm pretty sure this guy's cheating. Because he is using his uh, burner way more than I would be able to. And still have fuel left. Shit. I was trying to time that so uh, he didn't catch me. Damn it. If he uses his fire attack again, I am screwed. <gasps> okay. Well, at least you can switch to the uh, the shot, so I don't lose my weapon. Uh, Chech San one two three, welcome. His suit is gold. It's obviously better. Well, why can't I have the gold suit? The taxpayer money can pay for cyber prisons with laser bars. But it can't pay for me to have a gold suit. Uh, what's America coming to these days? I have to say, for a terrorist organization, these guys are, uh, they're pretty loaded. They have a lot of bank. I mean, they're doing much better than, uh, than Al-Qaeda. I mean, thank God these guys don't exist in real life. Or do they? Dun dun dun! Eastwatt the Movie, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. The twist? It's all real. Damn it! Don't kill me, please. Oh, damn. I thought it I thought it would be okay. Private Steve. Welcome to the chat room. Duke, save state maybe. Uh I want to do the I want to do this honestly. I realize I have not been honest for much of my life. <clears throat> but this is where I am making my stand. Can you move when he does fire? No, you are completely rooted to uh, to whatever spot you're standing in. Which sucks, because I'm sure I almost had him. He had to have almost, uh, almost been dead. Alright, this time, well, I don't have fire this time, so I can't save him. And I don't have fire, or I won't have fire when I get to the bottom of this elevator shaft either. It's gonna suck. But if I can make it to the bottom, there's a maximum life thing down there, so I'll be okay. Damn! Best thing to do is to kind of hover up here, and then just skip, skip past as many enemies as possible. This is kind of a uh, kind of a trial by fire. 
so to speak. If you can make it through this, then uh, then you're good, relatively. You know, Robocop didn't have to deal with nearly this much shit. Actually, he probably did. I've never uh, seen Robocop. Alright, the question is, which weapon is ideal for fighting this guy? I thought I was doing better with my, uh, with my super. I guess I just have to, uh, just have to hope I get hit a few enough times so that when he does his fire attack, I'm able to, uh, I'm able to survive. If I remember correctly, if you survive his fire attack, he actually dies. Like, using the fire attack kills him. So, uh, if you can just hold out that long, then you're in good shape. Of course, I haven't remembered any anything else about this game correctly, so why would I remember that correctly, is the question. Alright, switch to shot just in case. Alright, I think I'm good. Okay. So yeah. Nope, nope, he's dead. That was it. That was the last of his energy. Mission completed. E SWAT has completed its mission and discovered two shocking facts. Do I have to press the button, or will that skip this? First, Eye's leader was actually a robot. <gasps> Second, he was trying to duplicate Ice combat suits. Had he succeeded, dot dot dot, the mission to destroy Eye was successful. Once more, the world is safe, at least for now. And uh, that was eSWAT. I wasn't sure if I would make it in the end without having to cheat, but uh, I pulled through. What's with the weird pseudonyms that, uh, that they always used in old video games? Like, I'm pretty sure Little Sun isn't the dude's actual name. Middle Village? What kind of a pseudonym is that? Quite a crappy ending. It would be better if they showed boobs. Back in the day, programmers were, hi were hired privately. I don't understand why. Man, he is such a badass. He's not even looking back at that fire. Oh, nope. Never mind. He's no longer the consummate badass. That was a police car from Street to Rage? Wow. Cameo. They give you a chair for winning. Yes. Congratulations. Here is your chair. Wow, the end is totally off center. How cheap. Or maybe it's just my emulator. 
All right, well, this has been Eswat. Um, thanks for watching. Um, Retro Game Week will continue on Tuesday. If there is not a bonus stream uh, sometime before then, then that is when I will see you next. Um, as always, if you like the stream, please subscribe to me on Twitch. Um, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Facebook.com slash Duke of the Bump. Uh, Twitter.com slash Duke LPs. And I will see you next time. I love you all. Good night. And good luck.